Hi there, welcome to the Makeup Hunter. I'm Laura. For today's video, I thought we would do something a little bit different. I thought I would show you and take you on the journey with me for packing my makeup bag for holiday. So, I don't have to stick to any baggage allowance, we're driving our own car, so I don't have to worry about the space that I'll be taking up. That has given me free reign to go a little bit wild with the amount of makeup I'm taking. I'm one of these people when I'm packing, um, all of my favourite things I want with me, I don't want to leave them behind and I have a lot of favourite things. So I thought I would show you what I'm taking for the holiday and we'll sort of pack my makeup case together. So first of all I'll show you the bag that I'm using. This is a makeup organiser that I purchased from Amazon. Um, it's the one I have, I think is the medium size. This is what it looks like. It's kind of kind of hard to show on camera. It's built for working makeup artists because it's got a strip on the back that you can put over the handle of a wheelie wheelie kit bag and it just slots on there. I love this for travelling because it's nice and big. I can get all of my favourite things in there, all of my favourite bits of makeup. It's got a compartment for brushes. I've already packed my brushes. And then it's got customisable compartments inside. And they come with lots of spare inserts so you can section them off how you wish, dependent on the size of the items you're taking with you. This is how I've sectioned mine off. I pretty much keep it like that. Um, so I'm not gonna go through and show you the brushes that I'm taking with me. I just gave you a quick peek of them there. I've just put um, a slimline selection of what, of the brushes that I have and what I tend to reach for the most. So I thought we would go through the products in the order that I would apply them. That way I know when I'm packing that I've got everything that I need. I um, have a huge makeup collection, um, more than anybody could possibly need. Makeup is my passion, my one true passion. Um, being plus size, I find shopping for clothes is difficult. Um, I can't buy designer clothes. Um, I'm not one for designer handbags. Um, the things that I can have that are luxurious and special is makeup, and it always has been. What I have here is excessive. Uh, nobody needs this much makeup but I want this much makeup. I don't have a lot of things in this life that make me very happy due to my health condition and um, the way I have to live my life and and these things make me happy and everybody should have something that makes them happy, something that they're passionate about and I would never discourage anybody for having a passion and spending money on it if they've got it. So these are a few items that I've had since my last video that I haven't shared on my channel yet. I've mentioned a few times that I've been on a hunt for um, the perfect orange lipstick or orange red lipstick. And during that search I've done a hell of a lot of research, watched a lot of videos and keep finding these recommended shades and then I decide, oh my god I've got to have that one. So there was a few products that I was on the hunt for that I finally got. So my mum got me two of them when she got me the Dior palette and I got the other two. So the first item I have, after having all these orange lip products, I didn't have a, a matte orange lip liner. So I picked up this one from Patrick Tarr. That's the colour and it's called She's Not From Here, I think. Yeah, She's Not From Here. 
and Patrick Tarr is a brand that I've never really purchased from. I love his work, love his makeup artistry and I think his, his collection is really well thought out, really streamlined and his products just look beautiful. So I saw this lip pencil when I was looking at the matching shade in the lipstick. I'd seen swatches of the lipstick and thought it was the perfect colour and he does, for each lipstick he does, he does a matching lip liner so I thought that this would be the absolutely perfect way to try his products and fulfilled an item that I actually needed. So I'm actually wearing this lip liner now. I have it on with the lipstick but I have this all over my lips and just a tiny bit of lipstick pressed over the top. This is a beautiful colour, the perfect orange lip liner to go with all of the other lipsticks that I have. And that is going with me but I'll come back to that later. And then the next item that I got when I picked up the Patrick Tar lip liner, I picked up another one of the Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks from Laura Mercier. I mentioned in a recent video um, that I had seen a YouTube video talking about the perfect orange lipstick where the beauty vlogger um, Alana Rama had tried two of these Extreme Matte Lipsticks by Laura Mercier in the shades On Point and Soiree. Now I managed to get On Point but I couldn't find Soiree anywhere and during my hunt for that lipstick I realised that I think they've got rid of all the old shades and replaced them with new ones and the new orange shade in the line is this one called Fire. And this is what the colour looks like. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up. This is definitely more of a red than an orange but it is absolutely beautiful. I love this formula. I'm not usually a fan of a matte lipstick but these don't feel dry and powdery on the lips. They feel quite comfortable. They are very matte but they feel really comfortable and they don't budge whilst you've got them on. I wore this lipstick and I ate and drank and it withstood eating and drinking and talking and it was still beautiful. So that's that one. And then my mum got me two orange lip products that um, I had found in my research. So I am not a huge fan of Kat Von D and I've never really been a big fan of her makeup line. I've tried a couple of her products but they just, they don't suit my makeup style and skin type. Um, I also am not a fan of liquid lipsticks but I'd seen and heard a lot about her lip shade A Go Go which is a neon orange and I know that it was available in a lip liner and a bullet lipstick. I managed to get the lip liner, this is a go go lip liner, you can't get more orange than this, this is pure neon orange and it is incredibly stunning. Um, the only disappointment I had is that I couldn't get a go go in the bullet lipstick but my mum convinced me to get the liquid lipstick. Her opinion being, having a, such a bright lipstick, you don't want it transferring onto glasses and people and you know, you want a bright lipstick to stay, so she convinced me to get this. Um, I absolutely adore the colour, it's probably my favourite orange lipstick I've bought to date. But it's a liquid lipstick, it's very matte, it's very powdery on the lips. Um, I feel like all the life has been sucked out of my lips, but I will sacrifice that for this colour. I mean, you can see, and the two are a perfect match. Just so, so beautiful. Those are the items that I've had recently. 
let's look at what I'm going to be taking on holiday. So starting with base products, the primer that I'm going to be taking with me is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. This is a slightly illuminating primer. It has vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. It makes my makeup sit lovely on top. Um, it's nicely hydrating. It wakes my skin up, smells beautiful, and I just think it's a beautiful primer. So that's the primer that I'm taking with me, and that is going in my biggest compartment. Then I have SPF. The SPF that I use the most is the HelioCare Gel Colour Cream in the shade Light. This is like a tinted moisturiser, but it's SPF 50 and is UVB and UVA protection. Um, especially going on holiday, doing a lot of walking, being out a lot, I'm definitely going to be wanting my SPF on. And this sits lovely under makeup. On chill, no makeup days, I will just wear this on its own with um, a bit of lip balm and maybe a bit of cream bronzer, and I'm good to go. So, this. I'm taking with me that goes in with my primer and then next we have a tinted moisturizer I don't think I'll be doing full beat glam on this holiday I think I'll mostly be wearing a more laid back pared down makeup look so my Colourpop Pretty Fresh tinted moisturizer fits the bill perfectly I have the shade 4N I absolutely love this tinted moisturiser. I have two because I don't want to be without this product. Um, I apply it, <laughs> apply it with my hands. It blends in beautifully. It's not too greasy, um, but it gives me a nice level of hydration and decent enough coverage that I don't feel I need to spot concealer or anything like that. Absolutely love this. One of my favourite tinted moisturisers. My second favourite tinted moisturiser is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, Your Skin But Better CC Plus. Um, I just got these two little samples when I did a Cult Beauty order a while back and I just thought I would throw them in. I do have these in the full size so I know how they perform. Um, for a tinted moisturiser this is super high coverage. This would be my going out foundation um, but I just thought as they're so little I'll just chuck them in might as well get the use out of them and then for a full coverage option just in case um, I don't know in case I have a breakout or, or we go we do go out somewhere of an evening I've got my Mac Studio Fix food this is probably my favourite full coverage foundation and I really like to mix it with my tinted moisturiser just for sort of a medium coverage. Um, this lasts all day on me, I don't get shiny with it, um, makeup blends beautifully on top of it and I just think it's a really lovely foundation. So that's my full coverage option. And then I'm also going to be taking my NARS Tinted Glow Booster. This is the light shade, it's called Calvoya. It's just a skin toned glow booster. Um, I did a video recently, I get ready, get ready With Me, where I wore this in place of foundation with just um, tinted moisture, um, SPF, my SPF underneath. And I really, really loved how it looked. I loved the coverage it gave, the glow it gave, and it set down quite nicely. So I'm taking this as a wear alone option and also the option to apply under more full coverage products or to mix in with my full coverage foundation. Okay, and now for concealing products, I have my Becca Pistachio Colour Corrector. This is just a green colour corrector. 
Um, I've been using acids and retinol on my skin recently and I've been finding I've been getting red around my nose and across my cheeks and I just, not all the time, but I just occasionally like to put a little bit of this down. I'm wearing it today under my foundation just to counteract that redness. I also have my Becca under eye brightener. This is just a beautiful brightening peachy under eye concealer. I like to put this on and then conceal on top. Um, I pretty much use this every time I do my makeup um, because I think it just gives a lovely bright lifted appearance under the eyes. So that's definitely going with me. And for concealer, I'm going to use my Pretty Fresh Colourpop Concealer and this is in the shade Fair 15W. I've had this for a while and I've not really used it but it's a lovely concealer. I'd say it's a medium coverage. Um, it's nicely hydrating under the eye area because it has hyaluronic acid in it and I just really need to start using it so that's going with me. Sticking to the Pretty Fresh family, the setting spray I'm going to be taking and probably my favourite setting spray is the Colourprop Pretty Fresh. This has coconut water and hyaluronic acid in. It's lovely and hydrating. It takes away the powdery residue on my skin um, and just helps all my makeup blend together and I just think it's a really beautiful finishing setting spray. He doesn't like it because I'm sitting too far forward on the bed. He wants me to sit back against the pillow so he can put his head on my lap. Um, okay, now, base products, but moving on to bronzing and contouring. So, for cream bronzer, I am taking my new favourite, the Chanel Universal Bronzer. This is a lovely light but warm toned bronzing cream. I absolutely love the way it looks on the skin, how long it lasts, the, the, the way it sets down, it, it goes, does, does go to a dry, dry consistency once it sets down and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, goes with everything so that's going with me and then for more of a contouring or lighter bronzing day, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. This is more of a cool toned product because it is for contouring rather than bronzing. But on my skin tone, I can actually use this alone just to add a little bit of warmth and colour to my skin. When I say warmth, it gives me more of a of a glow than, than a warmth. Like if you looked at this next to the Chanel bronzer, you can see the contour wand is definitely more cool toned. But this blends out lovely, it sets down. And on lighter makeup days, I like to use this in place of a cream bronzer. I also like using this on top of a cream bronzer for more sculpting um, and more full beat makeup. So those are my bronzing and contouring products. And then I have powders. Let's do powders first. So for my I'm taking three powders with me because if I do go out for an evening I like to use my YSL Souffle de Clat powder. This is a slightly illuminating powder but it's a beautiful colour and I love the finish of this. I also like to mix in a little bit of my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in Feather Light. This has got a slight pink tone to it and it's extremely shimmery and when I want to be a bit more glam and have a bit more of an evening sparkle I like to mix a little bit of this into this so that's my evening powder combination 
for every day and for setting under my eyes as I find that was given to me by my mom that powder and she's deeper skin toned than me and that shade three I would usually use one so for under my eyes it's slightly too dark I can get away with it but I do prefer more of a brightening so I'm taking my MAC mineralized skin finish in light plus this is very well loved again this has some light reflecting particles in it and it's just a great all-round powder next up we have brows and we have eye primer so my brows have been laminated so I probably won't actually need a brow product but um, for more glam looks like for today I have got a little bit of brow pencil through my brows that's all I've got just on the patches where I haven't got as many hairs that are slightly more bald I'm taking my goof proof brow pencil from Benefit in my opinion Benefit just do brow products really really well they are the queen when it comes to brow products so this is my favourite eye brow pencil so that's going with me and I've also got the 24 hour brow set this is like super glue for the brows um, I don't have any of it on at the moment because I've had the lamination my brows are staying standing up pretty much on their own but just in case I do lose some of the lift in my brows and the fluff then I can take this and I'll have this with me just to help for eye primer I'm taking my MAC paint pot in laying low paint pots are my absolute favourite eye primers eyeshadow just blends so beautifully on top the colours stay strong they don't fade during the day my eyeshadow doesn't crease um, I just think they're a really beautiful product and it's the only eye primer I use usually I use the shades soft ochre or painterly I've just had to declutter my soft ochre because it I only had a tiny bit left and it dried up um, and just to get use out of some of my other colours I've been using Lane Low which is a lovely warm but light camel brown so that is my eye primer now this is a palette that I put off getting for a very long time because I thought it's just a neutral palette how many neutral palettes does a girl need but actually I'm so glad that I decided to get this eventually I got it for my cousin's wedding last year um, I haven't used it very often but the looks that I have done with it have been just beautiful and for traveling I think it's absolutely perfect because it's got the perfect range of nudes a good load of shimmers along the top row and I think with this palette you can do really soft daytime looks or really elegant smoky evening looks so that in my opinion is the perfect travel palette so that's going in the bag and then next up to go with my current obsession with orange I am taking the Colourpop Birds of Paradise palette this is just a small nine pan monochromatic palette this is what it looks like And I just thought this would be beautiful for everyday use and for evening and would just complement my orange lipsticks really, really well. So I also thought this would be a really nice companion palette for the soft glam just to make it a little bit more autumn-y. So in that one goes. And then the last eyeshadow palette that I'm taking is just a little companion palette. It's the Rowan. 75 degrees palette this is a beautiful cream shadow palette and is beautiful for one shadow looks just take one rub it all over the eye with the finger and you've got a beautiful sparkly look or I also think it's beautiful for using on top as like a an eyeshadow topper so say a smoky look like I've got today and then just take one of the lighter shimmers and just apply it over the lids and it's really beautiful 
so that is a another good multitasking palette in my opinion so that's definitely going with me and then sticking to the eye area i have liners and mascaras now for liners i thought i would stick to the classics so i've got a black this is the Elastin line Absolute Black from Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals. I love this liner for applying along the lash line and then smoking it out. It has like the smudger on the end of it. I don't love this for the waterline because it doesn't go very well on the waterline, but it's super soft and super pigmented for along the lash line. And I thought that would be lovely with just say one shadow and then a smoky black wing so that's my black liner and then for in the waterline I have my Inglot number three coal pencil this is probably one of my all-time favorite eyeliners it's super pigmented in the waterline it doesn't budge holds up really well um, and it's just a really beautiful formula then my all time favourite eyeliner is Melt in the shade Baked, it's this beautiful mustard colour which is really unusual for an eyeliner but it's like a beautiful alternative to a nude pencil in the waterline, it makes my green eyes look really green and, and pop um, and I just think this is a really beautiful liner. I, tend to use exclusively in my waterline and then for similar sort of thing I've got the Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade overboard this is like a metallic mustardy bronze it's like a light bronze and again the Colourpop cream gel liners are just such a good affordable liner they work beautifully in the waterline they go great on the skin they're just a lovely pencil and super super affordable and then I probably won't use this but when I bought the lip liner and well when my mum bought me the lip liner and lipstick from KVD Vegan Beauty the, um, count, the counter assistant put me in a little tattoo liner and a go big or go home mascara sample so I thought I'd just chuck these in because they're nice and cute and travel friendly. Um, it's nice to have the option of doing a black wing if I want to. So that's going in. <coughs> and this mascara, I've actually tried it today. I'm wearing it today. Oh my God, it's amazing. Bush is really big. It reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex brush really big and fluffy and it's a beautiful mascara I used it just on my top lashes and then because I always do this no matter what mascara I use I sealed it with the MAC extended play giga black lash this is a tubing mascara so it will stop transfer under the eye my bottom eyelashes are really long so I always end up with dots or darkness under my eyes and it makes me really self-conscious because it makes me look really tired so I discovered tubing mascaras and I hadn't realised that the Giga Black Lash that I've had for years and never used was tubing mascara so what I tend to do is use a more volumising mascara like the Kat Von D one and then seal this, seal the top and then apply to the bottom so I have to have a tubing mascara with me before I had the Kat Von D sample, I had put in my Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. Again, this is very similar to the Kat Von D. It's a nice big brush, really volumising formula, and I love it for my top lashes. So, I had got these two originally to take, 
but I may just take the Kat Von D and the Giga Black Lash as I think it's quite a decent sample size that is and for the week that's probably all I'll need. So next we have some cheek, cheeky products. So let me gather them up. Now this is where I've probably gone this and lips is where I've gone overboard and I really don't need to take this many but I'm struggling to narrow it down because I have a reason for taking all of them. Okay, so for blushes I have my Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I have the shades Pink Lemonade, Chili Mango and Ridic. Chili Mango and Ridic are my perfect complements to my orange lip obsession because they are like an orange blush. So we have Pink Lemonade, Chili Mango and Ridic. Chili Mango is obviously my favourite. Now these are an unusual formula. For a cream product they're quite dry but they are absolutely stunning on <coughs> they pack a lot of punch and I just find them really long wearing <coughs> and beautiful colours I haven't got the Rona my fans on and it's drying me out a bit <laughs> so those are the matchsticks that I'm taking with me now these I don't really know why I'm taking all these but I, I can't pick between them so I'm also taking my Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes and hello sir Double, you're, I, I like kisses but not when I've got a full face and makeup on Bubsy yeah you, you lick my arm instead so the first one I have is Strawberry Drip I do this one handed because I have a puppy lying on my arm so this is strawberry drip this is a beautiful pinky orange but it gives a real sort of sunburn look to the cheeks which is kind of the look that I'm usually going for so I have that one bikini martini which is a very blue based bright pink focus please So that's Bikini Martini and I just love a bright, he's put his arse all over my makeup, look, look, look at the camera, look at the camera, oh no, I know he won't kiss his, I know he won't kiss his, but look, look at the people watching. It's your people! It's your people! Boys, your baby. He's the most beautiful, most handsome boy in all the land. Yes, he was. He's the most handsome boy on all the land. Yes, he was. Right, where was I? I think I was shoving bikini martini. So that's bikini martini. Love a bright pink blush for minimal makeup days because I think bright pink cheeks is just a really youthful look. So I have that one. And then these are so similar that I don't really need to take both, but I just can't choose. So I have Cool Berry and Rose Latte. So, Cool Berry and Rose Latte. I suppose they are, they're different enough for me to justify taking both. But when you look at them on the stickers, they look super similar. So yeah, I'm taking those four cream blushes because, well, why not? Nobody's gonna tell me I can't, are they? So there's those. 
and then I have for powder blush options um, I mentioned these in the previous video I've dug out my little mini MAC blushes so these are them so we have News Flash which is a lovely orangey red Never Say Never which is more of a pinky red and Bright Response which is a beautiful shimmery orange which is basically like a powder version of the Chili Mango Matchstick I like to have a cream option and a powder option dependent on the kind of look that I'm going for and how long I want my makeup to last for instance I've been out for lunch today so I wanted my makeup to last really well I've also got super full coverage foundation on so I went for a powder blush if I was just having more of a chill relaxed day um, where I didn't need my makeup to last for ages then I would definitely use a cream blush as cream blush is my preference I just I love a good cream blush and then the last in the this sort of category is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette packaging on this is absolutely stunning this I am taking for my powder bronzer and powder highlight option um, lovely little compact you've got the two products in one and I absolutely love the tones of both the bronzer and the highlighter in this palette for my pale skin it's just perfect this is the fair to medium shade and I just think it's beautiful really really it's an expensive product but it's worth the money okay and now all I have left to show you is highlight and lip products <coughs> for highlight I've got all creams other than that film star bronze and glow palette I have the Chanel Leblanc rosy light drops this is a beautiful multitasker product for me because you can wear it under foundation you can mix it with your foundation or my favorite way to use is just tapped on top as your highlight um, I absolutely love this I love the color of it and I just think I can't be apart from it at the moment so that's going and then I also have two highlighting sticks the first one is the Beauty Pie Strobing Stick in, sorry, Multi Glow Stick in Day Glow. Um, I don't think this is available anymore, but this is a lovely pearl, pearly champagne toned highlighter. I love this product. I love the colour, the glow, how blendable it is. Um, it's not too icy, it doesn't leave a cast on me it's just a really lovely product and it works beautifully on top of powder so that is one of my favorite highlighting products and then similar to the um, Chanel liquid is the Chanel highlighting stick this is the universal highlighting balm in the transparent and I just this will go with absolutely every kind of look you can use this for evening looks or super simple day looks because it's transparent it just leaves a sort of wet look to the skin so I thought this was ideal and I just can't bear to be parted from it at the moment so that's going with me and now finally on to lip products and now this is definitely the category where I really don't need to take all these but I just can't choose so <laughs> basically what I have done is all of the recent orange lips and red lipsticks I've come to have possession of um, I've just put them all in the bag so we have lip liners first I have the Patrick Tar 
and a go-go that I've already mentioned. The Patrick Tar is more ready, as you can see, and the Kat Von D is more of a white base, neon orange. So they are different enough. And then for more of a coral option, I have Morphe Blossom. This is shimmery, it does have like a gold reflect through it, um, and it definitely pulls more coral than orange. So that's that one I'm taking, that one. And then I also have a nude lip liner, just in case I feel like a nude day, but the way I'm feeling lately, it's gotta be red or orange all the way. My only nude lip option that I'm taking is my Chanel lipstick in the shade Daylight. This is my perfect nude, it's more of a peach based nude. Um, love the formula, um, just a be really beautiful lipstick. Not much to say about it, uh, it's just a good nude. And then also for more chill, um, chill days where I perhaps don't want a full on bright red lip. I have my two Dior Halo Shine lipsticks in the shades Artistar and Star. These are a, a more of a coloured balm. Um, they do have some good pigment to them but they're more sheer and glossy finished than a standard lipstick. Um, so these are nice for of a more not full beat glam kind of look so these are more of a relaxed chill version so I'm taking both of those and then I also wanted to take a gloss so I'm taking my Bobbi Brown crushed oil infused gloss in the shade hot streak when it's on the lips this has it's more, it's very sheer, but it does have a bit of a orange tint to it. And I thought this would be lovely to wear with, alone with lip liner. So I'm taking that with me. And now, <laughs> this is where it's excessive. So, um, recently my mum went through her lipstick collection because she knew I was after, I was on the lookout for orange lipsticks and she gifted me all of her orange toned YSL lipsticks which was absolutely amazing of her so I have one on at the moment so I have the shade number 21 which is like a, a, a lighter toned but very orange orange I thought that one would be good for more daytime looks because it's more of a, a light orange then the lipstick that I have on now over the Patrick Tara lip liner um, ew. that one actually I have that one that I just showed over the top of this lip liner And it definitely wears off to be more of a lighter, more subtle orange in my opinion. Then I have this one which is more of a coral. Well, it's definitely a coral. And again, I thought this would be nice for more daytime in the shade 52. And then she also gave me this one which is which is really a really lovely lipstick but this for me is like an, a, an evening shade this is number 13 and this is definitely more of a red orange so I'm taking those three with me and then I have the recent purchases that I've made so I have A Go Go by Kat Von D. I have my two Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte lipsticks. 
in the shade On Point and Fire. And then I have my two Dior oranges. So this one is the, this is like a gloss and a stain hybrid. This is the shade Dior, Dior Pulse and it's in number 648. So this is one that I would wear more of an evening because it's got more of a gloss finish to it. Then I have Dior Sunset number 747. And then my two NARS lipsticks. So I have the shade Ravishing Red and Rouge Insulin. Ravishing Red is the one I wore in my Get Ready With Me and I also had it on in my random haul so that's more of that's more of a pinky red and it's extremely matte gives like um, a blotted undone kind of finish and then the last one is rouge insolent this is a satin formula and this is more of a coral more of a subdued coral orange so that's going in as well so that is everything that i'm taking makeup wise and i'll just if i can lift it show you how everything is packed so you can see just how much room is left in here so you can see i've got tons more room for more stuff so it would be really easy to go over the top and take way more than is necessary but I think I think that's it off don't you so anyway that's it now thank you very much for watching hope you were all well I hope this video was somewhat interesting for you um, Thank you for watching, please subscribe and like this video and leave me a nice comment and I'll hopefully see you again soon for another video. Lots of love, bye!